Alright guys, I do apologise for the stream cutting out. This time there wasn't a Wi-Fi network problem, it was my phone actually died. And that is what I use as the outlet for my um, games console. Um, reason I don't use the Wi-Fi is because it's really laggy at times and um, there's a lot of people using it. So it makes it more, you know, makes more sense to me basically using my mobile data or mobile hotspot should I say so that's gonna be good waiting for uh, Harley to pass and then we'll get back into it. But nothing's really happened. We've just seen Groot and Rocket here. So we'll just wait for here. Ready? I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? No, wait for me. Watch it, Storm! Watch yourself! Jerk up, red guy! You believe that? Okay. So go talk to Cosmo alone. We can go back this way, I'm assuming. I've seen some crazy things, but ghosts? I doubt it. Maybe you've had enough to drink already. Understand the word you're saying. A lot of these aliens you can't make sense of. They're, they're pretty cool. I mean, that's so interesting. Alien, these weird things, interesting aliens, but you know, it's just. Apparently, I look like someone that I could understand that one. Apparently, you've got some business with that person. <laughs> Zeus, it's not moving on the table, Tom. Just an alien thing. That I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this plan can't fail. My guy got us control. Oh, we've got an actually normal looking. Well, that looks like an avatar. Interesting. Do 
Okay, there's no sign of Groot. Gamora went soft, so did Drax. Okay, and this is where we were before we went into the bar. There's some more components. Looks like he's got a lot of parts here. Just about everything. Mostly. Refurbishment, of course. Hard to get new equipment since the war. Well... You looking for something particular? I wonder if you have something I could use to remove, uh... Nova Core Disabler. 7 a 12 series. 2G2, maybe? Ah, nope. That one's decommissioned. I know. I got something that should work, no matter what. Buy disabler, refuse disabler, buy disabler. And you're sure this will remove the disabler? It'll do exactly what it was supposed to. That's great. Thanks. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, so we bought an item that apparently removes a disabler. Wormhole waste recycl recyclable. Okay, so we've been this way. There he is, yeah. Okay. Collector's Emporium. Let's see what this one's all about. Sorry, pal, no loaners available. This is a group only place, and we've got those. I love you, my love. I love you too, Fiery Bunny 38. It's a nice stream. Right. Can we talk to this guy? But it's one of the only honest jobs available. Like I always say, shortcuts end up hurting you more than helping. Thanks. I'll try to remember it. This place. This place. Okay. Collector's Emporium. What's down here? Check it, master, unknown species, Tyvan group employee, and that's got a long number. Great connection. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler, have arrived at the Alastaria Symporium, Tyvan collection of Panelier Tivan, the premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Diva. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, would you like to take it? Buy a ticket, refuse a ticket. 
Thoughts. If it's half as good as you say it is, it'll be worth the units. Oh, you'll see. It's better, better, better than you could ever imagine. Enjoy yourself. And please refrain from tap, tap, tapping on the exhibit's glass. Okay, how the fuck is this thing inside of this? I do hope, 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 you enjoy the important. Be sure to come back soon, as you never, never, never know what you might find. Commemorate your visit to the unique. What is this place? You will stumble into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objet d'art, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls, but that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. But not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? Fifty two thousand. Uh, Actually, she might kill me if I get her a present. Ah, some people do not appreciate the finer thing. So I could get one, but Wait, you enjoy the one. I don't get it. Okay, so it says Richard Ryder's Nova Helmet. Richard Ryder, leader of the Galactic War Resistance and hero to countless races. The man so embodies Nova Corps that he rebuilt it from its ashes and chose Nova as his own moniker. Typically, I do not associate with law enforcement, but this relic was donated by Ryder himself. Just prior to his disappearance, you see before you his original helmet which is a direct connection to the Xandarian world mind. Ryder claimed he upgraded to a new helmet with its own Nova Force reactor to make the world mind shut up. I think he enjoyed the idea of them blabbing away in some stupid mu museum. Delightful. No way! How'd they get that? <coughs> Your ultimate nullifier, oh yes, the most destructive weapon in the entire universe, and I have it. On loan from Galactus, in the hands of an immensely powerful being with an exceptional mind like Galactus, the nullifier could detonate, detonate entire solar systems, even timelines, perhaps even reality itself. I've been entrusted with this temporary safekeeping. So I hope the world devourer will forget he left it with me. If I were to ever attempt to use it, he would instantly summon it back to himself. So feel free to admire the potential end of life as we know it while it is still in my possession. Interesting. So we've read that one. Kind of neat. So Hofun sort of Heimdall. Master crafted by the dwarves of Nidavella, this Odin blessed sword was gifted to his gatekeeper, Heimdall. Any god wielded weapon is a centerpiece in one's collection, but Hoford possesses numerous magical talents, including the ability to open the Rainbow Bifrost Bridge to any of the nine realms. A shame it's not in mint condition. Uh, condi condition but if you look closely you may be able to spot the hate-filled bloodstains of Mangog, Mangog on its broken blade <coughs> oh, interesting 
Okay, Superhuman Superhuman Registration Act. Many of my visitors pass right by this simple document, but you have a keen eye. It's actually a prophecy transcribed in trance by the frothing monks of Seknar 5. One should take it as a warning since their prophecies are rarely wrong. The one speaks of a world where those gifted with powers fight among themselves, divided in a bloody civil war that will risk the destruction of everything they swore to protect. You may wish such a thing does not come to pass, but its value will, extreme, uh, will ex increase exponentially if it does. I will cheer for the civil war. <clears throat> so it looks like we've got a few more bits to read. So Yako Arrow, a rare centurion weapon added to my collection with the arrest of the Ravager Pirate Lord Yondu Udanta. These deadly arrows can be propelled and directed to tear through enemy forces with specific whistle pitches from its wielder. Their opponents now known to aim for the mouth or swift face swift destruction from these nasty little things. It is unknown whether races outside of the Centauri can command such a device but feel free to whistle at it and see what happens. I assure you, all are safe within these walls. Dude, no way. Cosmic glasses. If you see a relic before you, you're in luck. Occasionally a pair of lenses manifest eyewear that belong to a powerful cosmic entity, seemingly capable of being anywhere in the galaxy at any given time. He's appeared throughout history in multiple worlds, and I suspect he will continue to do so throughout the future as well. Though we do not know his motives, many believe the mysterious being has had a profound impact on our galaxy, Exultia. Fancy. Frog John Nair. It's easy to underestimate the raw power of this relic due to its minuscule size. Frog Joel Nier is said to be an unintentional gift from the Asgardian God of Thunder, or rather his goat, who errand who strike shipped off a tiny piece of Thor's own hammer, although I'd rather have the full size Molnir in my collection. Frog Joel Nier did grant his bearer of powers identical, identical to Thor himself. It's also ridicul ridiculously adorable. Even with Hyde's formula, I cannot lift it. <clears throat> That's not good. Brood Queen. You see before you the deadliest of specimens taken from the brood world, an infant queen embryo extracted from her unfortunate host. Within that armoured skull lies a fully developed predatory brain, brain eager to conquer us all and use our bodies as breeding grounds for her parasitic spawn. I assure you she is heavily sedated and quite harmless now, but please do not tap on the glass. So it looks like we've got four more things to read in here, and then we are gonna get out of here. So we've got Cal Glio Stroh's book, A Libro Dil or D. Cagliostro rolls right off the tongue, but beware not to speak the forbidden words within lest you summon extra blan extra fiends. Extra planar fiends, shall I say. This legendary spellbook is a trove of miraculous magic, unspeakable curses, and unthinkable peril. Mine is more than just a cup a copy. Spawn directionally from or spawned directly from the original in some weird self-provation ritual. You could say that I safeguard the backup copy, should the original ever tear a hole in reality itself and wink out of existence. <coughs> okay, we've actually got a whole other section. Dude, no way. So eye of the Watcher, this oversized orbit, the plucked eye of a Watcher, one of the universe's oldest and most powerful races. Their decision to intervene on behalf of less advanced worlds once resulted in great cat catastrophe. So they have taken a permanent vow not to meddle in our affairs. 
Apparently someone meddled in theirs, presumably to harness the watches. Incom incompre incomprehensible powers. It's safer now in my collection, content to return your curious gaze. Does it see you back? I wonder. I lost this bit here. Oh, interesting. interesting. Kang's time chair. Everything about this chair and the man who sat in it is soaked in temporal anon anomaly. Don't worry, I've had it thoroughly cleaned. Constructed by a scientist from the far future, this magnificent device allowed him to build a violent legacy stretching backwards and forwards across time. Calling himself Kang the Conqueror, his time stream manipulation united thousands of alternative Kangs who created warring councils of Kang. I was able to procure this device after two Kangs killed one another. Finders, keepers. <coughs> okay, give me a second, guys. A lot of reading decides to fuck your throat up. Right. Oh, cool. So we got a cosmic cube. Well, if you could wish for anything, this cosmic cube would bend reality itself to make it so. It's perhaps the most important part of my collection as I've used it to secure each of my artifacts in protective pocket realities. You may look, but you have no hope of ever touching. I'll not wish more from it because it whispers to me with the voices of past owners, including one of a particularly infernal temperament. I am content to my admire from afar. <coughs> I don't get it. So blade of Icor or Icho, perhaps blades of Icor 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 Icho is a more appropriate descriptor since this defined weapon can be divided or reconfigured into multiple lethal instru instruments due to its divine liquid metal core. Before I was able to procure them, they were wielded by an angel from Heaven, or was she an Asgardian? Queen of Hell, one thing is clear, Aldrith Odin's daughter, Angela for sure, uses the blades of Icor to severe countless limbs from sinners and heathens across the galaxy. She would not hesitate to claim my own limbs should she and her weapon be reunited. <coughs> no way. No, so Mandarin's rings, Mandarin's rings, ten potent weapons, one for each finger, crafted from gems that once belonged to a mighty Macunian dragon race. It said that each contained the soul of a legendary warrior and each has a unique power. The real fun comes in combinations, darkness and extreme cold of fire and blinding light. Perhaps a lighting feel, uh, filled vortex. Disintegrate a foe while controlling their mind, blow them up and put, then put them back together. The Mandarin was not eager to part with these rings but my hired help was able to take them off his hands. Okay, so we actually have, let me figure this out now, one, two, three, four, five, six, we have six, I would say, things left to read, and then we're good. I know it's a bit dragging on, guys, but we've got to get it all in, and uh, it'll be great information. Okay, so we got Monster from Planet X. This one hurts, I used to be in possession of the galaxy's last fl flora colossi, aka Groot. The sole survivor of planet X's destruction. The enormous planet creature called itself Groot, often during its escape, I was able to severe a retain and retain a small piece of its wooden body. You may see a simple sprout, I see the potential to regrow my lost prize though he will be far less precious with the original running loose. I don't get it. So Raptor Amulet, truly a strange fruit, plucked from the Tree of Shadows in Null Space. The Shi'ar fraternity, uh, fraternity of Raptors used these mysterious amulets to swap their biological bodies from cybernetic ones. 
With these sleek battle suits, the Raptors were gifted with Raptor uh, rapid interstellar travel, extreme strength, resilience, regeneration, and destructive energy blasts. I'm told it will also tune you in the into the data song, a type of shared consciousness. I do not like to share, so the amulet remains safely on display. Did you keep chucking over there? No way! How'd they get that? Which piece? It's pink. It probably landed more towards the door. Can't see anything. Fire Lord's cosmic staff. So burn with the intensity of a solar flare at each end. This artifact channels the power cosmic, and was originally welded, wielded by a hot-headed herald of Galactus. Its former owner, Fire Lord, once scouted the galaxy for the world devourer's next meal. At some point, they may have had a falling out because I was able to pro procure. This gorgeous implement of destruction for the low price of an entire planet. I would have gone as high as three. Oh, cool. Okay, so Snowbird's Tiara, the Tiara of Naria, a mystical shapeshifter or shape changer, conceived to battle the great beast menacing her homelands. Rebranded as Snowbird, Naraya fought alongside a team of superpowered Terrans named Alpha Flight. However, as a spiritual protector of her territory, she was unable to leave its border or borders. That is without the device you see before you, I'm told its components were built from the very soil of Canada, which allows her to carry her home with her. Reg regrettably, she has not shown up to claim it, so it remains a part of my collection. Fancy. Okay, we got Throg, Frog of Thunder. You might think this is a God of Thunder transformed into a frog. It's actually a frog transformed into the God of Thunder. One of several Gods of Thunder, to, pre to be precise. This tiny fellow packs quite a punch, matched only by his thunderous croak. Captured after decimating an entire Badoon uh, fleet with one throw of his mighty hammer. Frog, frog Jolnir. I selflessly bawled him out of prison and found him a permanent home in my collection. If he tells you otherwise, do not listen, as guardians are known for their devilish pranks. And our last one. Oh, interesting. So hide formula. Occasionally the terror mind is capable of exceptional brilliance. Take Calvin Zabo for example. Through chemistry Zabo believed he could push the human body beyond its accepted limits and create this potent serum. Upon it Embibement, imbibement, never heard of that word before. His musculature rapidly expanded, enabling his British alter ego, Mr. Hyde, to hold his own against some of Earth's greatest champions. Zabo now wastes away in a Terran prison, but I wasn't going to let him scrum, uh, let his scrum go to waste as well. Okay, we've finally gotten to the end. Many of you will be like, thank fuck for that. But we had to do it, guys. It's one of those where we had to do it so that we could make sure we've got everything in the game. That might be important for the future, you don't know. if we can get in now that we've got a ticket. No? Okay. Make sure you don't cause any trouble. You won't get any 
Cosmo's not even treated terribly. You're wrong about that. Me and Cosmo understand each other. Cosmo might understand you, and you have no idea what it's about. I'll take one. ticket we bought a few things now we bought a ticket for that museum place a lottery ticket and we bought something to fix a diffuser or something like that right. so obviously that's where we came from before could have gone that way. Well, we did decide to go that way. We picked up a few things. We need to obviously head this way. The blooms of Mali Macklu do not water. Okay. So we're meant to be heading that way. So let's go this way. We want to look at and investigate our whole area. I'm in, but don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cup's out. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See, awesome. my game's on the level and plum true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen. Okay, let's go again. Shuffling. Get ready to pay out. Oh, what confidence. That's what I like to see. Keep your eye on the cup with the ball. Here we go, Captain. Probably the middle cup Balls again. In the middle. <laughs> Oh, no. That was definitely in the middle, mate. Oh, no. 
positive that's where the ball was. The eyes play tricks. Sometimes an eye can't keep up. Something tells me it's not my eyes playing tricks. A nasty bar, Captain. Thanks for the letters. Have yourself a fun day. Hey, wait! Come back here! You motherfucker. You stole my money, bitch. How dare you? I, I knew that I... I knew that I did that correctly. This motherfucker stole 1,500 units off me. Little bastard. You must have a good nose. All I can smell is the brains. You must hate it here then. Actually going that to the main bit now, okay. So that's obviously where we need to go. I just want to have a little bit of a snoop around. That motherfucker stole my money. We are hiring mining rigs if you're looking for work. Someone's gotta keep this place up and running. Got a job, thanks. See if I can hire three more workers. I go up the pay scale, and I don't have to work as hard. I think you better work on your sales pitch. Good point. Right, so is that every explorable area before we want to go to the main bit? Let's have a look. So we've been that way. I think I know it yet. What I think it's neat about obviously this area, this game, is it lets you have like a, um, oh shit, a whole, oh that's where we've just come from. Well it's not where we've just come from but that's the bar we were in before. It's good that we have a little bit of an exploration area. Where we can do these, um, you know, these quests. Or well, not quests, they're like side missions if we want to do them. One our bandit. Hard to say, but it looks like it's almost ready to pay out. Play okay, slots. One game. I think still broken, lousy game. I think from now on we're not gonna do anything else in terms of gambling. Because we've been fucked over by one guy and then this fucking machine's broken on us. Still broken, lousy game. It's probably broken on purpose though, isn't it? Like most gambling machines. Okay. doing some serious forgetting. If I see you again later, I'll buy you a drink. Mm -hmm. It's a date. Hey, with another alien pup. Oh, Hey! Oh, this is turning into a real scut 
that day. Fucking kids stolen money from me. Well. There's Drax. Drax, yeah, bud. Is. is everything all right? You believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. Checking on Drax. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memories of my family. They died without died. meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you're talking My mom and me. She tired me. She also died for no reason. Shot her. At least she's in a better place now. Right? The Katafian religion. I believe that in order to reach your path, one must live a life filled with purpose. The failure to do so results in banishment to Sardinia. Our families have been cast out of the paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. That's why you come up here. Yes. Feel close to them. Speak to them. Perhaps you think that sounds foolish. No. You know, on Earth, a lot of people think that good people are at a reunited with their loved ones when they die. This heaven sounds pleasant. Yeah, it does. Thinking over there, my mom, in heaven, got me halfway through the world. That my hope with Shatari, the prisoner. Uh, you desired revenge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. When Thanos murdered my family, for a long time I believed that they wasted lives would be redeemed if I took revenge on him. But then I realized Thanos cannot be killed. But you did kill him. Propaganda, Peter Quill. Spread to Quill fears after the war. The fabric of my being, I know he still lives. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I'd like to be left alone now. No. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Jaquil. Yeah. I hope your mother found her way to heaven. Such a moment, fat one. Okay, we found them. Um, so obviously exploring did do us a favour, even though we lost a lot of um, what are they called now units. Oh, 
Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. Uh, guess I'm not as well off as I thought. The only thing that can heal pain is time. You barely skin and bones, moping your way through the market. Better have a hot bite, it'll make you feel better. So, you hungry or what? Fucking hell, dinosaur looking thing. Don't suppose you hand out free samples? Used to, but people were just abusing their sample privileges. Just kept nibbling all day. Almost broke me out of business. It's like some kind of dinosaur looking thing. Cool. I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. See soon. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali, Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go. I went down in Cosmo prison. The truth. Okay, take the alternative route. Water purification tank. Interesting. Nice little um, bit where you can chill. It's gone crazy. Oh, 
Cosmo? Is that you? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Who's there? Uh oh. So I have got that idea. I'm gonna keep quiet because I don't know which one's which. Don't know, I mean, I know which one's which, but I personally think imitating any of them will. Make a problem. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Look at what we got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy, scut stained terror doing out here, Wilson? Hiding's what I think, Derek. Uh, Terran's always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terran's a scrawny. We might be in the right. Simple and bound. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terry. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty said. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Starlord. By the way... Get him! The Blood Brothers. Okay, this is gonna be... Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. 
Intervention. Let's go. What is happening? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's about these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. To what do you Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Okay, and we're having this flashback again. The case looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Okay, we just double want to double check. Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scouts on. Anything else to look at here? Okay, I'm assuming we don't. There's nothing to look at. I remember you said this a lot when she was a kid. 
but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Okay, so we want to actually find out what this gift is. Don't think there's anything new? No? Okay, let's go straight for the gift then. Oh, my God. 
Trev, you're in between a rock and a hard place, aren't you? Buddy, what are you doing there? Chapter 7, K9 Confusion. The word is blood. That's what he said. Sheesh, no use to be in the Oh, crap. With me a little out. Not you. This is big news. Nope. Lady is not too alive. Are you a failed mission? Miserably. These lackluster bounty hunters claim that he held in their hired men to kill us. Hey, we ain't no slouch. We're part of the league. You said yourself you hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hopes you'd send the monster. Not these two. We were murderized. But don't worry. There's no more coming. You hear that, Peter Quill? Silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long if he's a lavender trap. Not a mm-mm. The friends be breaking us out in a suit of real suit. Then you wish me deep. Be silent. Okay, we're in first person, that's why I was a bit confused then. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Uh, well, your plan worked a little too well, seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. Hey, this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. Yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? You know what? You're a real piece of <laughs> What do you think I was gonna say? Rocky, dude! What? We should have left you in when we bought the chance. Like what we are. You don't! What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times! I'm not a roughing animal! What are you talking about? You what? <laughs>
stretch, so bits of the red hood will send him free for me. In use can be in four picks. Cosmo also knew. Guardians will be in me. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened. I mean, no God, you know, the other we were on the overlook. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across the galaxy. Like rabbits. Cosmos and men now the of the galaxy was killing each other. The Lobo Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joining the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. Right away, sir. Fraternity of Ravagers. Cult of the Negative Zone. Universal Church of Truth. That's them. That old man is with me. The shuttle exploded on the Hallow's Hope. Then he was by a ray creek. Leader of the universe of Church of Truths. That means he built a cult. He's old cult. Very powerful to the galactic war. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitted. What if we're really from somehow? Yeah, man. The universe of Church of Truths. Dying. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. He's not going to eat so Face it, dog friend. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. You found Corel. Where is she? No, the you couldn't breathe in the liberty. What would be Marco? Contracts us. The restroom is due to provide valuable information. In the later planet, I'll broadcast the same signal to 
All them bars, betting eclipses, brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo being Don't worry, Cosmo. We'll get to the bottom of this weird broadcast. Or die trying. No way, dude. I've got your back. Thanks, dude. I know you. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across Europe. But scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, it's me. So, what is this? Like another elevator? They'll figure it out. Oh, what is that? What is this? I know. It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. And no speech for world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Good luck, Guardian of the Galaxy. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. Sorcery. I was going to say dizzy. You get used to it. We in space. We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities. What do you mean between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever in this thing. Even the places that don't exist. What uh, do? It's incredible. What kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Banter and John Jay watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. an alternate reality. Interesting. Definitely an alternate reality. Hey, look! It's Spider-Man! Wait, is that Earth? Mom? Come on, you're late for the promise you. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Next stop, Palace Hope. Spider Man, bro. Hold on, group. Here we go. <gasps> Here we go. Objectives. Whoa, you guys okay? Restore gravity. Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're going to be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scut Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The beast says to find a power conduit. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power could show up on his visor. And to stop asking so many flocking questions and get us down from here. Okay. Something terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? Both are undeniable clues. I'm not seeing anything useful. Somebody tell him I ain't gonna do all this work for him. Use your visor, Peter! Okay, this is interesting. Who's gonna remind him he's looking for a power conduit? Peter Quill, must find a power conduit. Any day now, Peter. Yes, our investigation cannot continue until we 
exit this room. Anyone else thinking Rocket could be the one with the rocket boots? Ah, I didn't know you could do that. Have you checked the walls, Peter? Nothing's happening. Gamora, tell him to check the power supply. It's empty. Then tell him to find a battery. Did you catch that? Yeah, yeah. Shock and awe. Let's go. Gravity was not restored at one job. Okay, investigate the hall as hope. Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Third. Should we call Cosmo? Like the council call? What do you mean a code word? Fine. The group won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Ooh, oh! The code word? is ride the stars and we should hold off calling cosmo until we figure out what's going on we should also standardize our use of the term dog report item to distinguish information of interest to our investigation yep sure thing buddy dog report item something caused nova Corps to abandon the ship maybe they all just quit some people don't give up when things start going wrong was that a crack no, it was a pointed criticism. Can we just focus on what happened here? 
I agree. The dog's investigation is our priority. And finding out what happened to Corral and Nikki. Okay. Those big red skunks you tussled with. A couple of idiots called the Blood Brothers. Lady Hellbender sent them. Guess she's still sore then. The Monster Queen's rage is unending. Hold up a second, guys. Give me a sec. Wonder how many made it out alive. Not many. Explain your pessimism. Alive people let someone know they're alive. And the mutt said he ain't heard from nobody. Tried to restore the gravity. It ain't never his fault, is it? Okay, we found another archive. Hide formula. Occasionally, the Terran mind is capable of exceptional brilliance. Take Calvin Zabo, for example. Through chemistry, Zabo believed he could push the human body beyond its accepted limits and created this potent serum. Upon embribement, his muscular, his musculature rapidly expanded, enabling his brutish alter ego, Mr. Hyde, excuse me, to hold his own against some of Earth's greatest champions. Zabo now wastes away in a Terran prison, but I wasn't going to let his serum go to waste as well. Excuse me, guys. Good bottleneck for it. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. Now you are just being spiteful. Still nothing but emergency power. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the churchman Grand Unifier Ranger. Then his ship exploded. Maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. Knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova Pass? Nikki gave it to me to keep it away from her mom. We can sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know awesome. what Nova Corps does to people who steal from them? Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? Okay, we can... so we can get some more perks. Uh, that'll probably do in handy. It's all yours. Ah, got a crick in my back because of that. What's the deal with Quill and that kid anyway? Look at that. I don't know. I thought he tried to save her just to impress Corral. What do you mean anymore? There's a tracker on my ship. What do you hope to find here, Quill? Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You are fond of this girl. 
I, I guess. I mean, we actually had a lot in common. That reminded me of me, you know? I do not, not. Uh, It doesn't matter. Just want to make sure her and her mom are okay. second guys there might be some kind of glitch so we're just gonna kind of right, I think we've I think we've got everything up found a glitch inside of the game guys what the fuck is this ah <laughs> oh, mate well perhaps lady helmet has sent a worthy beast to devour us oh yeah and how would she know we were here it is said the monster queen has eyes across the galaxy so we're inside of a glitch at the moment guys Look at that. Always happens to me, doesn't it? Right, we're going to have to load the last checkpoint. I hope we're not too far back. Inside some kind of glitch. Absolutely sad. Oh, man, that is so annoying. That is really annoying. Imagine going into some kind of glitch inside of a uh, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy game. <laughs> Gonna have to clip that now, unfortunately. Put that as a TikTok clip. When it actually loads for us. Why does that keep happening? Right. There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. It ain't never his fault, is it? Ah, mate. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up here. Knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova Pass? Nikki gave it to me to keep it away from her mom. We could sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know what Nova Corps does to people who steal from them? <laughs> Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? Okay, guys. Well, we came across a glitch. Luckily, we didn't go too far back, but we are going to uh, save that as a uh, as a clip for TikTok. Only happens to the best of us, you know what I mean? Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You were fond of this girl. I guess. I mean, we 
We actually had a lot in common. Kind of reminded me of me, you know? Okay, actually refreshed us with a uh, the actual archive now right let's get back into it then so we've got cadet gold's attendance cadet gold's attendance trainer clem i thought you should know that your daughter continues to miss at least half of her training sessions and when she does show up she is frequently late she continues to borrow equipment outside of her access levels and rarely returns it. We've caught her snooping in off limit sectors and pestering her superior corpsman. Centurion Carmed recently foiled her attempts to stow away on a quarantine zone patrol ship. A uh, patrol shuttle, should I say. I want to be clear, she remains an exceptional recruit. She passes her exams with few mistakes and she knows her material and that is the reason why I've tolerated her eccentricities. But she's put me in an uncomfortable situation. My peers are starting to suggest I'm going easy on her only because she's your daughter. I don't want to remove her from your program or from the program, but I can't keep co uh, covering for her. I hope you understand. I hope you can get through to her. Okay, so I wonder if the, the game had a complete spasm there, it was like Fortnite yet again. Alright, so we've, we've gone through all these. So I of the Watcher was the other one. We've already read the hide formula. Mm -hmm. The oversized orb is the plucked eye of a watcher, one of the universe's oldest and most powerful races. The decision to intervene on behalf of less advanced worlds once revol uh, resulted in great catastrophe. Mm -hmm. So we've taken a permanent vow not to meddle in our, in our affairs. Mm -hmm. Apparently someone meddled in theirs, presumably mm -hmm. to harness the watcher's incomprehensible powers. Mm -hmm. It's safe for now in my collection content to return your gaze does it see you back i wonder okay so we've seen another archive Some weird glitch that was, I tell you. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the churchman Grand Unifier Raker. And then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. The gas, maybe? The explosion could have released it. I've used something like that before. Right. Pump it into the vents and it spreads through the jet. Uh, should we be worried? If we haven't already gone crazy, we might be safe. Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason to trust you. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting her was accurate. The longer we bigger, the more we might miss. Very inspirational. Yeah, you get that off the place, Matt? All I'm saying is we're in this up to our necks, and we'll need to work together to get out of it. No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa! -ho -ho! Look at you, you sexy beast. Ah, uh, flirting rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Uh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Uh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or uh, de-invert the de invert Rocket. Uh, the console safety lock because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. Huh. Looks like the arms are stuck without any power. I bet we could jumpstart them. How? Gotta be a power cell somewhere. It is time. Here it comes. Peter Quill's mask to guide us with its mysterious power. 
Ain't nothing mysterious about it. I programmed the Dastic thing. So we can't go that way. Through that, Extend the mounting arms, it says. Says manufacturing imperfections in vertical surface detected pierce to provide springboard for extension. Group, see a way to help me up? Nothing for him to latch on to, Quill. There's gotta be more machinery up here. Gamora, give me a boost! Of course! Yeah. It is. Definitely something up here! Obviously! Hell yeah! It worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try! Let's get the other one free! Second one done. Okay. shot press up to equip the lightning shot lightning shots ricket ricket between enemies that are close to each other enemies hit by the lightning shots are incap incapacitated for a short time Stop! Oh. 
Days. Let's find a way up there and discover why, for the dog report. Rocket, what's that console telling you? That you should come do the honors. Okay. Surprise! This whole thing's a lift. We can ride it all the way up there. I guess Nova grunts and grease monkeys don't get in the cool flying suits. Typical. Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make me. Whoa! Rocky clamps! Shutting us down. More freaks approach. Marcus D re inverted the core again. We just have to re D re invert it back. After we take some heads. Load up, rocket. Days. Ain't gonna work, Musclehead, but this time we've got a control room to play with. Okay, so we've actually got four unspent points. Trophy earned, dynamic team. Let's go. So Looks like I can next? remove the clamps from here. Good. You will not be stopped by clamps. Duh! Sneaky gas bags. They scrambled the power circuit so I can't release them. I'm tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Okay, visors up. Now what? You should see power grids along the walls around here. Find their powered up nodes. Looking for glowy power nodes. Right. When you find them, you need to electrify the junction switch in the direction you want the power to flow. Shoot them with electricity? Yeah. We're aiming for big, glowing lines routing back towards the plants in the middle. 
Got a locked door. Can you open it? No. Can you route power to it? Not from here. I'll try to find a way around. Root, I think I have an idea. Use your roots to raise that platform with me on it. Kind of a root root boost thing. He's always helpful. Stop there, thanks. myself back out of here. Solid plan. You know, normally you're not supposed to travel from dimensions without a quarantine and a decompression on the other side. Hell yeah! Who's smarter than Novacore? Perhaps the Novacore knows how to redirect the mission. He has experience. Did that do anything? Not yet. You'll have to reroute a couple of them. That open. Everybody stay alert. Don't let the dash be pushed in the wrong buttons or crossing the wrong wire. Okay. Small area is insinuating you are back up. That's got to be one of the power nodes. Just need to reroute it. So, is there any chance you will get it back together with the lady in law? Oh, hey there. the hang of this. Might be gunning for your job soon. You want to trade? I'm happy to sit in the captain's seat. You frequently sit in the captain's seat. Doors open, and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. Kind of wondering why Cosmo didn't catch a bunch of his muscle and do this himself. Simple. Required professionals. Poopsie don't even need to lift the paw to take down Lady Alvander's invincible ghoul who needs us. Real life. Good. Well, I think you had the right the first time. That's another power node. So any guesses on what they're doing with all that power? Perhaps they are recharging their personal devices. Their what? Their electronic tablets and assorted communication gadgetry. And 
Do you think they would need power from the ship's core for that? I am no expert in Nova technology. Looks like the wall's weak here. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. And you will have one. Uh-huh, another power node. Should be the last one. Let's get you rerouted. Looks like you did it, Star Man. Now get into the control room and hit that class room. I'll re reinvert the core at the same time and get us moving again. Activate the lift, okay. Now that was a bit of a tricky mission. Because it's a lot of um, puzzle work. But we could edit in the end. So I'm happy. Right. Activate the lift. So how do we do that? Now? done all these all we have to do is activate the lift now So you think the, to activate the lift is where Rocket is, right? Ah, 
am confused at this point, guys. Guys, I've been looking around about 20 fucking five, 25 minutes just for this. Here we are. Now get back here before we leave you behind. Yeah, let's see how far you get without your button pusher. Nice, there we now go. That we know the Very confusing. Nova are here, we can agree that whatever's going on upstairs is really bad, right? They were furious when you removed their power source. Must be important to their effort. Can't wait to smash it. Whatever it is. All right, this is our floor. Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. <laughs> Step aside. So let's try this panel as well. Okay, so we're just meant to be going here. Okay. So it's worth the uh, hassle. Not to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. What's that? No, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Great. Now we're stuck in the ventilation. Great job, Will. Dude, I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quilt saying he's sorry. Whoa! Flark and Scott! What are these tracks like the boots doing to contraption? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know! It looks like it's siphoning something! Something to do with those cubes? No, no! I gotta get a closer look! Peter Quill, we have been in this hangar before! Okay, so what are we meant to do here? Let's avoid the scary beam! Good advice! Guardian of Galaxies, cause for check Investigation leading to believe Allah is key to galaxy mystery. What is that noise? Compiling an extensive dog report. Traxia isn't looking so good. They're killing it, is what they're doing. Tell Cosmo what he's killing. They've got this giant ray thing he pointed at the planet. It's collecting some kind of energy. Have Guardian Thumbs in. Uh oh. What is. Uh oh. Something just came up. We'll call you back. Your experience fighting Centurions will be necessary here, woman. Right now! Gamora, slice him up! Danger close, Rocket! Hit him down, dude! You're gonna stop the 
No way, Nova Corps. Zealots could arrive at any moment. The hole we see, Drax. I'm gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. Dog report item. The rumbling. Poor contraction. That seemed like a waste of effort. All plans need steps to succeed. Uh, what new age drivel have you been? That might work. What am I missing? Rocket, you see where that vent leads? We should be prepared in case the beast tries to destroy it. There you go. Contractions were awful, but they don't deserve that. Just 
like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. Just hope it doesn't cause an explosion. All right, come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. You sure it's safe for us to be around these batteries, Rocket? Nope, it's the wind. The unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained by, by her will. will. Move. There's too many of them. In the hole. Jump. Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top 10 dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. Forget Raker. Our focus right now is finding Nikki. Your focus? My focus is not dying on this stupid ship. The dog wants us to find Centurion Corel. Right, so we're multitasking. I wonder how many other worlds are getting pummeled by one of them things. It is a discouraging thought indeed. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. So, how did you and Nick get through here last time? I don't remember anything being in the way before. Just a lot of fire. So visor up already. Figure something out. Okay. Stable mooring, significant weight supported. Not understanding why it's making me go through that. Dog report item. Strange device continues to do whatever it is doing. Thanks for the update, Drax. So I'm assuming we can't go back up this way. Nikki's one of the most resourceful kids I ever met, and Corel's a warrior. I'd bet on both of them any day of the week. Don't get cocky, Quill. Just because you won that bet in the quarantine zone. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Be careful down there, Peter Quill. 
Yeah, definitely a lot sparkier than last time. Uh, make sure the kid ain't floating face up somewhere. Rocket! What? Exhaust all options! <laughs> Say, Gamora, now that the floor can't kill us. I say, no problem. Well, definitely no sign of Mickey Moore, bro. I mean, I guess that's good news. Well, we found a another one of those. Dog um... item. The rumbling continues. Or contracts here. So we got one of those outfits again. Whoa, watch out! You okay? Groot says we should start thinking about exit plans. If the exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Okay, we picked up some components. So we powered one of the road robots as well back up. Does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. Uh, of course you would. Well, components. It's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. What about your magical ice weapon, Mr. Quill? Or perhaps you enjoy contemplating the intoxicating stench of death. Sometimes we all suck. Sometimes I'm sure it's why we ended up together. I do not suck. The point is, I care about us. But right now, we're not the ones in danger. Nikki's just a kid, man. As long as we're clear on the you sucking part, clear as day.
you sure this is the right way, Quill? It's clearly not. I'm investigating. Take that thing down, will ya? Cutting right up! You sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Corel really are... They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not! Got the components oh, anyway. Keep that in mind. How do we get out of here now then? Obviously not that way. Days. Nice. Here, this is definitely the right way. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are. Right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter. The, the pirate. Nikki! We do not intend to kill you. We need to get into that room. Two for two. Thank you, Nikki's passkey. Experience children often are being trapped in doors. It's not Nikki's mind. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are. No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with Wait, why does she have her toy? It's just something I gave to Corral when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the charge? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. Wait, wait. Is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is twelve. And Quill was with the child's mother. Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's only they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corel and Nick here, okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking.
Okay, so we've got some kind of. Um... Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? This, so this is basically another article or archive. So many thoughts, Cadet Gold. Could that really be him? Not at all. What was what I was expecting? Is that good or bad? He's not like other adults. I mean, sort of, but he's also kind of a big dumb kid. He thought my art was cool. Do all Terrans dress like that? And if so, why? Mom will not talk about him. She says I should forget we ever met, which is all the more reason to keep digging. For all we know, maybe this guy's her dad. Looks like an even bigger deadbeat than you. Looks like Ronan the Accuser to me. Indeed. All I'm saying is clearly I'm not the only candidate. Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Meh, I could do better. Yeah, but she's 12. So, I'm 15. Staring at it ain't gonna change what it says. It doesn't say anything. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Skrull fan. Name someone who is a Skrull fan. <laughs> good point. Huh, not a bad workbench. For a kid. Okay. I think Nikki won't mind if we use this. What do you say, Rocket? I say I don't care even if she does mind. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. Sorted. Okay, where were we? Congratulating you on being a father. Okay. Should be a way to Corel's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me to inside, man. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Guys, can we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a 